Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this here lovely Neo Noe in the Rose Ballerine color. This is my bag for the week and I wanted to do like a bag of the week, a what's in my bag, and give you some details on this bag and do like a mini review of this bag. So if you're interested in this kind of video, then let's get started. All right, you guys, so some close-ups of the bag before I get started with the what's in my bag. This is the front of the bag. It has the pull tab here with the two strings that are knotted. The hardware is gold, as you can see. Here is a side view of the bag. This bag is made in France, and I have a piece that has already fallen out. I'll put that back in in a second. Here is the back of the bag. This is the actual strap for the bag, but uh, yesterday I wanted to have something where I can carry it as a handheld, so I put this aftermarket strap on the bag. That's what you see here. And this is made in France, in case you missed that. That's what this says right here on this tab. And here's the other side of the bag. I have a puff ball and it says Louis Vuitton made in Paris right here, okay? Glazing on the bottom. The corners are rounded, but I do find that because it's such a bulky bag, I'm always bumping it into things. All right, I'll put this back real quick. So some information about this bag real quick before I do the what's in my bag. One of the things I feel like this bag is very much so like a never full MM bag. It's pretty much the same size, almost maybe not as tall, but if you cinch in a never full MM bag, it does take on this same shape as this bag. So if you were to cinch in the sides of a never full here, it would have this same shape pretty much. Here's a top view of my bag. Let's move this puff out the way. And as you can see, it's pretty stuffed with all of my stuff. Uh, this is the bag that I'm currently using. So let's go over some things that is in my bag and I'll take them all out one by one and I'll set them here on the side. So first I have this nice size cocoa butter, shea moisture, hand cream, shea butter rather. I love this, it's very moisturizing to my hands. I actually keep this on my desk, but I decided I was gonna put it in my purse and take it out with me yesterday, so it's been in my purse. This is the wallet that I'm using for this week. This is my Rosalie coin purse with the rose ballerine interior. And I do have it stuffed with my credit cards and receipts and different things like that. I did have change in here, but I found that it was too bulky. It was too bulky in here, so I took out the change. All right. Rosalie coin purse. This is my coin purse that I'm currently using. This came from Forever 21. It's in a heart shape. It's very dirty from coins. I mean, sorry, came from H&M. You can see that tag in there. I thought it came from Forever 21, but I guess I was wrong. So it came from H&M and it goes on a key ring. I never use it on a key ring. I leave it like this and just carry it. I love this piece. I've had this for several years now, probably six or seven. And it still looks really good. It is wipeable material. So I do wipe this off if it gets dirty. Next, I have some tissue. I just got over a sinus infection. I have my keys, my coach key holder here. I love this piece here. Next, I have my iPod. like a little Coco Chanel case. It, it can be held around your neck. 
My daughter likes to play with this and put this around her neck. She likes to wear it as a necklace. It's so cute. I love this. And it does sit up, so I can use this on my desk or on my uh, shelf as like a little prop or a little decorate, decorative piece. I have a bracelet. I was going to wear this yesterday. It says Hope, but I didn't, so it's still in my bag. I have a check that I need to cash. I have a receipt from Kroger. I went grocery shopping yesterday. I spent... $193 on groceries. I have a purse hook right here. You put this down on, on a table and then you hold your purse on the hook. In the center part, I have two mitts. I can get that out. I have two mitts that I have to carry. In this back part, I have a cell phone holder. So I put my cell phone on here whenever I'm out and about and I want to be able just to prop it up because I don't have a stand on or anything like that. I have this here. I'm using this as my cosmetic bag. And I wish you can see the true color of this. So this here I'm using as my cosmetic bag. I have my face mask in here. I have mascara in here. I have some lipsticks and I have a little mini perfume, Tiffany and Company. And I have some more mascara down there. So it's lipsticks, mascara, and my face mask and perfume. I love this piece, you guys. Next, I have my sunglasses case. And I have just some little cheapy sunglasses in here. Nothing very special. These are a bit big for the case. If I can get that out. All right, so sunglasses. Next I have my Chanel perfume. I actually was wearing this yesterday. You turn it like this and it sprays out here. This really does smell so good. I paid $110 for this at Macy's in New York. Next, I have some hand sanitizer. This is from Bath and Body Works, I think. You can hook it onto your purse, but I just stuck it in my purse. I have so much hanging on the outside. I have some other lip gloss that I like to have on the available so I can just grab it at will. And I have a compact mirror. I got this mirror from Forever 21. All right. That is all that is in my bag. I do have some bag organizers or inserts. Oh, I have my vaccine card here. I'm not going to take that out, but that is my vaccine card there. And this is how these organizers look. They are the same. It has pockets right here. It has these pockets on the inside. And then it has these pockets on this side. I got these from Amazon. All right, so this is my what's in my bag. If you have any questions about this bag or about this video, please leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty, bye.